-hmm. Restore us, O God of hosts, show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Lord, open our lips. And, and our mouth shall proclaim, proclaim and your praise. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, 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 as it was in the beginning, is now, and, now, and, now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins unto Almighty God. God of all God of mercy, we, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. lives. We have denied the goodness of in ourselves and in, in, our in, in the world that you have created. We repent of the evil we have us, us, the evil we have we done, have and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, Christ that, that we may abide in your love and serve for your will. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord G Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. 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 Let's see. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said, when your children ask you in time to come, what is the meaning of the decrees and the statutes and the ordinances that the Lord our God has commanded you. Then you shall say to your children, we were Pharaoh's slaves in Egypt, but the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. The Lord displayed before our eyes great and awesome signs and wonders against Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his household. He brought us out from there in order to bring us in, to give us the land that he promised on oath to our ancestors. Then the Lord commanded us to observe all the statutes, to fear the Lord our God and our lasting good, for our lasting good, so as to keep us alive, as, in, as is now the case. If we diligently observe this entire commandment before the Lord our God, as he has commanded us, we will be in the right. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, God. Let us read responsively the selection from Psalm 86, found in your bulletin. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Get my heart to you that I may fear your name. I will thank you, O Lord, Lord my God, God, with all my heart and, and glorify, glorify your name forevermore. For great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the nethermost pit. The arrogant rise up against, against me, O oh God, and a band of violent men takes my life. They have not set you before their eyes. But you, O oh Lord, are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and full of kindness and truth. Turn, Turn to me and have mercy upon me. Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your handmaid. Show me a sign of your favor so that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed. Because you, O Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. The disciples were urging Jesus, Rabbi, eat something. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you do not know about. So the disciples said one to another, surely no one has brought him something to eat. Jesus said to them, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to complete his work. Do you not say four months more, then comes the harvest. But I tell you, look around you and see how the fields are ripe for harvesting. The reaper is already receiving wages and is gathering fruit for eternal life so that sower and reaper may rejoice together. For here the saying holds true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that for which you did not labor. Others have labored and you have entered into their labor. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. James. Theodore Augustus Holly was born a free black in Washington, D.C. on October 3rd, 1829. He was baptized and confirmed in the Roman Catholic Church, but later became an Episcopalian. 
Holly was ordained a deacon at St. Matthew's Church, Detroit in 1855 and ordained a priest the following year by the Bishop of Connecticut. He was appointed rector of St. Luke's in New Haven. In that same year, he founded the Protestant Episcopal Society for promoting the extension of the church among colored people, an antecedent of the Union of Black Episcopalians. Holly became a friend of Frederick Douglass, and the two of them worked together on many programs. In 1861, Holly resigned as rector of St. Luke's to re lead a group of African Americans settling in Haiti. Okay. Although his wife, his mother, and two of his children died during the first year along with other settlers, Holly stayed on with two small sons, proclaiming that just as the last surviving apostle of Jesus was in tribulation on the forlorn Isle of Patmos, so by his divine providence, Christ has brought this tribulation upon me for a similar end in this isle in the Caribbean Sea. He welcomed the opportunity to speak of God's love to a people who needed to hear it. On November 8, 1874, James Theodore Holley was ordained the first Bishop of Haiti at Grace Church in New York City. This made him the first black man to be raised to the office of Bishop in the Episcopal Church and only the second black Bishop of any major denomination. In 1878, Bishop Holley attended the Lambeth Conference, the first black to do so, and he preached at Westminster Abbey on St. James's Day of that year. In the course of his ministry, he doubled the size of his diocese and established medical clinics where none had been before. Bishop Holley served the Diocese of Haiti until his death in March of 1911, and he also had charge of the Diocese of the Dominican Republic from 1897 until he died. He is buried on the grounds of St. Vincent's School for Handicapped Children in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Bishop James Theodore Holley. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, Lord in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our prayer come to you. Let us pray. Most gracious God, whose servant James Theodore Holly labored to build a church in which all might be free, grant that we might overcome our prejudices and honor those whom you call from every family, language, people, and nation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. In our baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves to strive for justice and peace and to respect the dignity of every human being. Let us honor these our vows and let us pray for our nation, for wise and just leaders and for the needs of others throughout our country and the world. Let us pray for all blessings, for blessings on all peacemakers, on leaders who value peace, on everyone who promotes nonviolent solutions to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to violence and warfare around the world especially in Ukraine. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves, to address the needs of our siblings throughout the world, for the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities, and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We commend our nation to the Lord's care. Grant to Joseph, our president, Kathy, our governor, the members of state, federal, state, and local legislatures and courts, and all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do the Lord's will. Fill them with a love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their callings to serve the people of this land. Out of love, in your mercy. In our prayer. We pray for the church militant throughout the world that it may be an instrument of a healing love. 
We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, Lauren, our rector, Father Mark and Father Dan, and Kurt, our rector emeritus. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. We pray also for an end to the growing disparity between rich and poor, and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country and the world, that we will respect all people as precious children of God, and that discrimination based on ethnic, religious, and gender differences will be forever banished from our hearts, our society, and our laws. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Okay. We pray for a reverence of all creation, that we will have the tools and the will to conserve it, that we will use its resources in the service of others, and that we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all immigrants, refugees, and children from pilgrims from around the world, that they may be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all prisoners and captives, that a spirit of forgiveness may replace vengeance and retribution, and that we, with all the destitute, lonely, and oppressed, may be restored to the fullness of God's grace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all children and families, particularly for the orphaned, neglected, abused, and those who live in fear of violence or disease, that they may be relieved and protected. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bless, O oh Lord, those who seek to learn and those who teach them. Inspire us to break down barriers that withhold education from your children and enlighten us with bright beams of wisdom so that we may be equipped to seek the blessings of liberty, justice, and peace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bless, O Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. We press, pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Esther E. Knapp, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Kat Bates, Norena Guerra, Karen Liu, Eva Longmire, Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz Massingill, and all those responding to natural and human-made disasters. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the aged, and the infirm, remembering especially today Hank, Peter, Bob, Mark, M.B., Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue D, Todd, Einstein, Danny M, Pamela, Nat and Nancy, Jude, Sue B, Elsie, Sue M, Sally, David, Jerry, Pearl, James, Dawn, Macy, Mother Lauren, Katie, Pam, Peg, Carol W, Brian, Caitlin, John Gunner, Francis, Sarah, those suffering as a result of natural and human-made disasters, those injured due to gun violence and all those affected by COVID-19. God of love, in your mercy. Hear prayer. We commend to you, Lord, all those who have died, remembering especially those who have perished so far in the war in Ukraine, those who died as a result of natural and human-made disasters, those killed as a result of gun violence, the millions worldwide who have died from COVID-19, and all those we remember today in the stillness of our hearts. May they rest in peace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. May the crucified Christ shatter our brittle fear, draw all people to his glory, and make us servants living for the world. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth into the world, rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God.